Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time tuning in, oh, did you pick a great time to tune in. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Australian version of the Ryobi Impact Driver. And we're gonna face it off against the brand new USA version of the Ryobi Impact Driver. They're both brushless, they, bro they both have a lot of the same technologies, but I always find it interesting that in some countries, the same company provides different products that do the same job. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at that. We're gonna put these two to the test and put them through the gauntlet. But before we get started, do me a huge favor. Go right below the video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you get all the latest and greatest content. Alright, before we get into it today, let's talk about the specifications of these two impact drivers. For the Australian, uh, the model number is R18IDBL-0. This has 2,389 inch-pounds of torque, 3,900 impacts per minute, 3,000 RPMs, it has four modes, and it costs $150 US dollars, $200 in Australia. Uh, on the four modes, I do have to say that uh, the first mode is the low mode and it's slow, so slower RPM, slower torque. Um, middle is middle of the road. Uh, the third is the highest, and that's where you get the maximum numbers, which I just listed. And number four mode is called the deck drive mode. That's where it starts to screw out slow, and then it increases the power as friction increases on the screw itself. So let's move over to the US version. The model number is PBLID02B. The inch pounds are 2,200 inch pounds. Rotate our impacts per minute are 4,000. 2,900 rotations per minute, and this also has four modes, which is brand new to the United States. First mode, that is the low torque, slower speed. Two is right in the middle of the road. Three is the highest numbers, which I just mentioned. And number four is called assist mode. Funny enough, it does exactly the same thing as this unit to where it starts off slow, and then as the friction increases on the screw, it speeds up and increases the power. Okay, so first impressions, it has a, a good rubber over mold, which is pretty typical. The badging is uh, just a thick rubber. Yeah, let me put it on. The mode select is green and the color of light. And you can see it's A for assist mode, one, two, and three. The light is down on the base of the tool. And it's, it's uh, pretty basic, to be honest with you. Uh, there's nothing truly special about this looking. The previous model had a few more amenities than this. So first impressions of the tool. Man, it, it's, it's, it is beefy. I, I'm going to say it. Let's see here. How do these stand up together? Uh, they're just, you know what, they're the same length. You see that? Can you see that? They're the same length. They look just about the same. Uh, you know, just about the same width. Um, wow, yeah, they're just about the same. So, the badging here is all aluminum. This is a nice thick aluminum badge. The battery goes right in. Uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's gonna be hard to see. Uh, but the, the modes are down on the bottom. And this is called deck drive. So mode one, two, three, and deck drive. So it's a push button. But on this model, they actually have the uh, a tool bit holder down here. The has tri beams up at the top, has a double bearing uh, chuck as well. Uh, the rubber over molding on here really resembles the last year's version of uh, 
Ryobi in the United States. Uh, this does not have a belt clip, but something I am noticing is that uh, the US version has a mounting point for a belt clip. However, the Australian version doesn't, so maybe that's not big over there. I don't, I don't know how they tether or, or hold these. Uh, first impressions is, that's not an impact. This is an impact. Oh, my Australian accent is terrible. <laughs> Something I forgot to mention on the Aussie version of the impact is that it indeed does not have the extra contacts in the uh, casing itself. This did have the extra contacts here. Uh, this American version does not indeed have the additional contacts as well. So before we actually get into the testing, let's talk about the test a little bit. We have a one inch Forstner bit. We have a one inch paddle bit. We have a one and one quarter inch paddle bit. This is screw type. We're gonna test to see how it does on delicate things. So this is a two inch fine thread drywall screw. We'll use this on mode number one. We will go to a coarse four inch drywall screw and this is exterior and we're going to test this on mode two and three and we will do the assist mode to see how it actually works. Then we're going to move ourselves up to a three and a half inch lag bolt. Then we'll go to a four inch lag bolt to which we will go to a five and a half inch lag bolt, then to a six inch lag bolt. Then we will graduate to the eight inch timber screw. And then the ultimate test. This is a 10 inch, three quarter inch lag screw. Go. 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 Three. Three. Go. Go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mode three, go. Okay, everyone, before we go to the final test with the 10 inch, three quarter inch lag screw, let's go ahead and check the battery life. So this is the US impact and we are three quarters uh, life right now. This is a six amp hour um, HP battery, 
and it is the same level right now for the Aussie battery. Okay everyone, it's really important for me to tell you this is not a pre-drilled hole. We're just gonna sink this straight into the wood. Three, Three two, two, one, one go. real quick. Okay, I'm saying 126, 129 degrees Fahrenheit. There you go. <laughs> Look at the smoke! <laughs> this is 150... Yep, right around... 163 degrees there. Okay, so it's about 163 degrees on this one for the Aussie. Wow, so they're still pretty warm to the touch, but pretty cool. Uh, right now the battery level is still at three bars for the US Impact, and it's still at three bars for the Aussie Impact. Wow, this is probably the best test that I've ever done. Uh, something I noticed that I, as I was putting the wood away is that when I was driving the last lag for the Aussie version, um, the top 4x4, four four, so I have a 4x4 four four pressure treated sitting on top of a 4x6. Um, the top one actually split, so I think when this started picking up a little bit of speed at the end, that's when the wood actually split, and that's why I was able to drive it all the way in faster. But, you know, to be honest, how this was, it just kept going and going and going. Uh, I think it would have driven it in anyways, especially with that comfortable trigger down here. <laughs> um, and as far as the U.S. version, this is brand new to us. Um, I am extremely impressed. Uh, this isn't the first time I've put this impact to the test. There are two other times, and it failed both other times. In fact, it didn't do as good as the previous model. Um, but this time it was able to do it, so I will give credit where credit is due. And this stayed cooler. It was only 126 degrees. 
So uh, no complaints here. I am extremely happy with this. I am extremely happy with uh, the Aussie Impact. So is that the results that you were expecting? Looks like the US version of the Impact did win. Uh, I am surprised. I honestly didn't think it would at first, but it proved me wrong. So that does prove some of these new technologies within this uh, Impact is actually working, such as running 25% cooler. Um, but that is not putting this, this Impact down at all. I think this performed superbly it was it it far exceeded anything i could have imagined that it did the way it felt the way it performed the amenities that's on it um so what do you all think let me know in let me know in the comments if you'd like me to to face this off with the p238 um outgoing impact that the u.s has hey everybody thanks for joining this has been a great time if you like the video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we will see you in the next video.